Also new tonight, nearly $4.8 billion. That's how much revenue Sanford Health brought in in 2020. Yesterday, we took a look at how much money the nonprofit paid its former CEO when they parted ways. Tonight, Kettle Land's Kelly Volk is taking a closer look at some of the other numbers in the more than 400 page filing with the IRS. Angela, as a nonprofit, Sanford is required to file a 990 every year. It includes a detailed list of every Sanford location, information on some of the top paid employees, along with details on donations Sanford makes to communities and schools. Here's a closer look at some of the numbers. When Kelby Krabenhoft left his executive office at Sanford Health, he walked away with more money than many Sanford employees will see in their lifetimes. In 2020, he received $49.5 million in salary, separation, and retirement. While Krabenhoft was Sanford's top paid executive, he wasn't the only one making a seven-figure salary. Sanford spent more than $85 million paying directors, officers, trustees, and other key employees last year. Some of those key employees also have family members who work for Sanford. Nine are listed in the filing. Together, they made $2.9 million. Those salaries make up just a fraction of the 2020 budget. In 2020, Sanford's total revenue was $4.8 billion. $2 billion came from patient services. $1.7 billion came from Medicare and Medicaid. A large part of that money goes to the doctors, nurses, and other hospital and clinic workers you see in Sanford's hospitals and clinics. Last year, the health system paid more than $2 billion in salaries and wages. A lot of people struggled to pay their medical bills in 2020. According to the filing, Sanford provided more than $98 million worth of subsidized health services. All right. Thanks a lot, Kelly. Let's